Hey, Joshua Taylor coming to you from here in Port Alberni. Hey, uh, my first experiment, I had this all set up today. I managed to finish the work, but I didn't have enough air in this marine fan to really pipe enough uh, volume into the into the chill pipe here, so I'm going to have to uh, Go to a two inch orifice, this is only an inch and a quarter. And that, you know, if I go from an inch and a quarter to a two fold to a two inch orifice or a nipple, that'll give me about three times the uh, the airflow. Uh, originally, when I started my YouTube videos, uh, this is the, the exact fan that I purchased here in, in Port Alberta. It's a four inch marine fan, puts out quite a bit. But the uh, air going into here is just restrict, restricted down, just you know, far, far, far too much. So back to square one. So instead of hooking this in line the uh, way that I had it, I'm going to have to tee it into the uh, stand. And uh, I know it works because. If you go back to my original videos, you'll, you'll see this fan in operation and, and I was able to heat up a, a 16 inch, inch and a half schedule, uh, 40 pieces of steel, just you get it nice and red hot, develop lots of energy. So I'm going going back to my original setup to uh, for a mobile unit. It's hard to find places where I can test uh, the drill pipe technology really need a, a full shop and lab with machinists and, and uh, welders and fabricators to really advance it. And uh, but anyway, uh, I'll be leaving the island in the morning and uh, then heading to Chilliwack where I can pick up some parts and I'm going to replace this with, uh, with the same size where it fits into here and uh, with the much bigger uh, opening. You can see I've got all these reducers on here and with the uh, two inch uh, valve controller. I'm going to leave it here. I'm Joshua Taylor coming to you from here in Port Alberni, uh, British Columbia, Canada, just with an update on this uh, drill pipe technology.